All right, me and Jeff are ready for some Christmas trivia, you guys. And we're going to find out who's naughty or nice. Stay tuned. It is hysterical. Welcome to the 12 Days of Local Love. Local love for the holidays, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Local Love. It is Amanda, and I'm here with Jeff, the intern, or as we like to call him, the elf. <laughs> We're saying in this case because I'm not wearing a hat over it. <laughs> for now, you're wearing the Santa hat, and that's just because you're in the hot seat. Today, oh, we are doing the naughty or nice Christmas candy challenge. Now, I asked Jeff to get 12 Christmas related questions for me to answer, and I found 12 Christmas questions for him to answer. And if you get it right, then you get the candy on the nice plate, which is gonna be the good candy, good quality Christmas candy that you're probably gonna like. If you're naughty, you have to, and you miss the question, you're gonna get some random Mexican candy that is Let's just say it's it's not great. It's it's a naughty candy. It's perfect for that. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna move your phone out of the way. No cheating. <laughs> I'll keep this nearby in case you need it. Right. Who knows what that? Yes. That. This is what we're playing for. Actually, I'm gonna put your phone on top of these so it doesn't fly away. Kind of windy. We got today. a little bit of wind. Yeah. All right, guys. I am gonna <clears throat> pull out my first question for him. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. Number one, where did candy canes originate? What country? I feel like I know this one. Uh, been been years though. I think it was Scotland. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it basically it was Germany. Germany. And uh, huh? they were first made popular in 1847. It uh, was the first time that they were put onto actual Christmas trees, which shot up their popularity. They were around before that, though. I didn't get an actual time win. Huh. Well, that's really bad news, Jeff. That's, that's one. So we're going to leave the nice here, but you're not getting it. You're going to have to do the naughty. So the uh, rule is he doesn't have to eat the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, but he does have to taste it. So you're going to probably peel it from the bottom like a regular lollipop. There you go. My suggestions, don't even don't even smell it. You just, you'll hate yourself. Let's just put this over Making here. a note that this might not be honey, even though it looks like a honey It is cone. not honey. I can concur. It is not honey. This looks so weird. You ready? Yeah, let's see what this is like. Just hang it in there for a minute or so. We'll say 10 seconds. That's fair. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nope, you don't want the rest of this? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you put it back on the paper part so that we can reuse our plate. Thank you for that, at least. All right. Here. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I don't know. Aren't that, you glad that, I had you bring a drink? That was definitely not what I was expecting in terms of flavor. All right. Okay. You ready? And we'll keep the nice the way it is. Okay. All right, so this time, this is going to be the naughty candy. And we're still keeping these Brock's Peppermint Christmas trees, which are my personal favorite. Sorry, guys, the wind is really giving us a hard time. Um, yeah. And we're going to go on with question number two. You ready? Yes. Did you recover? Are you okay? I'm okay. It's still He's not dead, ladies and gentlemen. I, I didn't kill him. I still got that taste in my mouth, though. Okay, yeah. ready for number two. It is, okay, Santa Claus is based on a real person. True or false? Yes. That's correct, yes. Originated uh, from St. Nicholas in the 4th century American, uh, I'm sorry, in the 4th century AD. Uh, the Dutch name for this saint was Sinterklaas, and of course we later adapted that phonetically as Santa Claus. Very good, congratulations. You get the goodies. <laughs> you don't have to eat them both if you don't want to put one aside. And well, let me reload the have, nice tray. Luckily, I had this, uh, this uh, hoodie on. I can just throw them in the pouch. Or <laughs> the cherry. Oh, that covers They're up. so good, though. It really has to, that covers that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't like it? Oh, it's not coconut. 
It looks like peppermint. Which looks oh like yeah, that's peppermint completely. Peppermint. All right, guys. So this time we've replaced the nice with cordial cherries. They're Queen Anne's cordial cherries. And of course, as I mentioned, uh, it's called Paporindo, uh, which is a Mexican, uh, I believe, it's tamarind treat. But uh, it's made with real fruit, so we'll see what he thinks. If he gets his next one wrong, then he'll have to eat one of these. All right, number three. What three gifts did the wise men bring to baby Jesus? Oh, it's been years. <laughs> I thought this is an easy one for you. I know, it's, 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 it's one of those things in Christmas that you, you learn, but then you forget about three right, years. Right, right, right. Spices? What do think? It's a specific, there's three specific names of three specific things. Sorry, it's very specific. And I know it has something, and I know it's a part of the, history, the holiday. It's, yeah. There's some uh, Christmas songs that have it in it. Looks like I'm gonna be going naughty again because I can't remember this year. Okay. I like I, I I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. All right, no worries. All right, so he has opted for the naughty. Help yourself to some naughty there. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. I just re read re part of it that's in English. And you just oh, what does it say? Hot and salted tamarind pulp candy yep tamarind is sweet though so it might counteract some of the hot that's true just in case very sticky it is very sticky tamarind is very sticky i'm gonna take this i'm gonna just do this bite because it's like i don't want to that's fine mm, yummy he's a naughty boy ladies and gentlemen and he's taking his punishment like a champ <laughs> what do you think it was fine on the first bite but quickly <laughs> <laughs> he is not feeling that tamarind, baby. I want to tell you. God. All right, so we'll keep our nice, and we'll up to a new naughty treat. Okay. okay one second. Sure. And that, this time it's going to be pilon melony, or pilon mini, excuse me, pilon mini, which I guess you pump it, and it pushes out, kind of like, yeah, like like the icing. The spice on that thing does not kick in until like shortly afterwards. Yep. I'm gonna tell you that a lot of these are tamarind and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> All right. All right, question number four. Okay. <laughs> My mom didn't know this one, so good luck, honey. I'm gonna give you some multiple guesses here. Uh, number four, what was the first U.S. state to declare Christmas a legal holiday? A, Oklahoma. B, Florida. C, New York. D, Alabama. New York. Eh. I'm sorry. It's naughty just, time. I was thinking that was because of the whole the way they celebrate the the, the border, the celebrate like New Year's on their on things. So that that's why it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very attractive. Show everybody. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta at least get a little up there. Oh, okay, this is this is not easy to push up as you would think it would be. No, it's not. It's hard. There you go. Go ahead and lick it off because you okay. ain't going to want no more than that probably. Maybe not. Maybe you'll like it. Who knows? That looks interesting. Uh, well. Yeah, stop being naughty, honey. You got to get these questions right. You should have studied. <laughs> what do you think? Not, not, a not a fan? No. No? He said no, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, you're, you're probably, you better get your next ones right because this don't look too promising either. All right, so our next one is going to be, uh, it's called Portico. Portico, and it's some sort of granulated red no, thing. To the, red to the thing. Make those, I'm just like, there's just not my taste. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, everybody's different, and we, we you know, their stuff is, is different, Whew. and we're not used to it at all. Right. All right, and I'm sure I'll have to taste some lovely nasty stuff too which you get to pick because eh. all right Mine might be a little easier because you just... ready for well i see you should have made them harder all right you ready for number five this one you might know i don't know what country is known to eat kfc for their christmas dinner and the options are a south korea b india c japan or d egypt
No offense to you guys, but I think Japan. That's right. Oh. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. You get the nice candy. Because they always have the most interesting design ideas for like holidays, even Americanized holidays. And those drip, so be careful. You know when you bite into them all that clear? Yeah, that's the best way to eat them. <laughs> all right, so this time we have a candy cane. Good, wholesome Christmas fun for the nice plate. And this Portico mystery powder, which I, I honestly have no idea. It says the authentic tasty flavors of the little parakeet. That's what it says. All right, number six. What was the largest Christmas gift ever given? Uh, hint, it was given from France to the USA in 1886. Gifts can be anything. It's idea. big. It's a big, big gift. Something we all know about today. And, he, and now I can guess this one, even because it's not one of those things you think of too much. Um. We're, it's very famously known that France gave us a gift. Whether I don't know if you knew it was a Christmas gift or not, but it's a big thing that everybody sees every day. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people see every day. Did you guys guess it already? I bet you did. I feel like I I know what it is, but it's like a I just can't remember what it's called. No, this we, this you would know what it was called. It's not it's not that it's very known. Statue of Liberty. That's it. Good job. I All a, right. I, had, I was double checking myself. Ring my... ring ring. Nice. <laughs> um, I'll hold this for later. Yeah, I don't blame you. He's getting full of candy already. Something else. Alrighty, guys. All right, so for this one, he's gonna, his nice treats are going to be the strawberry-filled candies. Now, these were oh. always a favorite of my grandparent or my grandmother. My grandmother also had uh -huh. those. Uh-huh. They're like a nostalgic those are, thing. Those are juicy fools. Still on the line on the naughty plate is this Portico that we, are, we just have no idea what it is. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Number seven. <laughs> what was the first song played in space? I'm going to give you some options. A. Frosty the Snowman. B. Deck the Halls. C. Jingle Bells. D. The First Noel. Jingle Bells. It was Jingle Bells. All right. Strawberry candy. Nice. Good job. Uh, and let me tell you how that worked out. Basically, it was from NASA's Gemini uh, 6A mission. Uh, they basically came on to comms at, uh, for Houston and said, hey, Houston, there's an unidentified flying object that's breaking its way through Earth's atmosphere now. And then, of course, they played Jingle Bells. They were talking about Santa. It was an obvious, uh, you know, prank. Hol it was a little prank. prank. Yeah, it was a holiday prank. But it was the first time um, that any music or any song had ever been played in space. Um, so that was pretty wild. All right, guys, so we have this caramel-filled chocolate Santa on the nice tray, right, right, right? Now, I'm going to warn you, though, it is Palmer cake chocolate, so what's that mean? It means it's not really chocolate. Palmer chocolate's not great. And, of course, he still hasn't had to eat this naughty, and I'm sure he's quite happy about that because this does not look appetizing to any of us. It All looks right. like a spice is more than a treat. <laughs> it, it, it definitely does, and I'm going to just put his phone here because the wind is really giving us trouble. So you ready? There is a tradition that was adopted to slow down eager children in opening gifts too fast. They first had to find the glass ornament shaped like a fig. True or false? It was a glass ornament shaped like a fig. True or false? I think I've heard this. True? False. Okay. It, just... it is true. The idea is true. The principle's true. But it was shaped like a pickle. Ah. Uh. It was a little tricky, I was, sorry. No problem, that was, I kind of had to. Enjoy. The... Mazel tov. Oh, I can't open it, I guess. I can't eat it. <laughs> I have no idea what this one's called. It came to me just like this on a plastic spoon. No label. Rubber banded clothes. But I have had one of these and it's not as bad. But I don't know about you, I'd still rather have a caramel, you know, caramel filled Santa. 
All right. You're there. At least for the moment, you're fine. You ready? Yep. Are you sure? Don't get too much. You're going to cough and choke. Is that good or bad? You're making the funniest face. I'm guessing he didn't like that one. It was like. What's it, it taste like? Hard to describe. It was like really. It was like kind of okay in the flavor, but it was like then all of a sudden it was like. I'm sorry, but it was. All right. It's a weird flavor. Number nine. You only got two more. All right. So who was the first person to place Christmas lights on a tree? And I'll give you the year. It's a little hint. 1880. And now I'm gonna give you multiple guess here. I call it multiple guess. We all know it's multiple choice. All right, so A, Thomas Edison. B, his friend, Edward H. Johnson. C, Ben Franklin. D, all of the above. My mother did not get this one. So I feel like it's somewhat, somewhat hard. If you need me to repeat it, just let me know. First person, and you're being singular, but that might be the trick part of the question. <laughs> He was the first person to place Christmas lights on a Christmas tree. Ben That's Frank. a specific thing. It's got to be on the tree. Is that your answer? Or? The options are Thomas Edison, his friend Edward H. Johnson, Ben Franklin, or all of the above. His friend. Oh, oh my gosh. Good job. You, my sir, have a, cho a caramel uh, chocolate I uh, Santa. Yes, it was... Uh, his friend Edward H. Johnson. Now, mind you, Thomas Edison is the first person to ever string lights together, okay? But uh, it was actually Edward H. Johnson who had the foresight to put it on his Christmas tree for the first time. Pretty good, right? Even though the chocolate's meh. It's not real chocolate, it's just kind of meh. They call it a chocolatey Santa. I guess you liked it, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so his new treat on the nice plate is going to be this uh, Ghirardelli's uh, Chocolate Square. It's the white chocolate eggnog flavor. Yummy. And then this unidentified Mexican delicacy sweet. We have no name for this. No name. It came exactly like that. And, yes, I was stupid enough to sample this in the past. So I, I liked it personally, but it's still I'd rather have this. All right, you ready for the last question? And yes. then it's my turn to take the hot seat. All right. This one's gonna date me. It's gonna date me hard. All right. Who voiced the Grinch in the original animated classic, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? Options are A, Bing Crosby, B, Boris Karloff, C, Nat King Cole, D, Frank Sinatra. Now, he is a lot younger than I am, and he may not know this. Many of you may not know this. I know it because this guy was uh, somebody that I looked up to a lot. Ben Crosby. Honey, you got the mystery spoon. I was like, because I was trying to go back. It I never... was Boris Karloff. That was my second Do you option. know who Boris Karloff is? I, I slightly. I, you know I, the I, name? Yeah, I know the name. And that was actually my second he option. Played I Frankenstein. Ah. Oh, this is sticky. I think you'll like this one. I really do. It's not that bad. Oh. But, uh, yeah, right? It's actually really good. This one I actually like. Sweet. It's not bad. Not bad. It doesn't have a funny taste. It's just I like good. apricot. Yeah, Timurin's kind of like that. It's it's a kind of tangy like It's more like an actual apricot. It's a little strong in my opinion, but it's like not bad. <laughs> you still don't like it? Jeff did not like it. <laughs> Okay, so now it's my turn. Give me that. Well, guys, I am ready to show you how I did. You'll have to stay tuned for the next video, though, because unfortunately, it wouldn't let us upload everything at once. So we're going to be doing this in two parts. Not quite what we planned, but we appreciate you guys hanging out because part two is definitely going to be better than part one. So stay tuned, and we'll see you shortly. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends.
and hit that bell so you know when we have a new video.